Well, this is certainly going to be a fun one. Guess you have read that title right. I'm doing a Tammy Faye makeup tutorial. Don't ask. Now, to be honest, I wasn't really aware of who Tammy Faye was until recently. I don't think she was known in the UK, as far as I'm aware. I've certainly never really heard her name being mentioned over here. And also, um, being an atheist, I don't think I'd really have the opportunity to to have heard of her, if that makes sense. I only became aware of her because um, I'm a huge fan of drag queens and RuPaul's Drag Race. And um, Sharon Needles, who won Series 5, I think, um, she's a real fan of of Tammy Faye. And she doesn't have, even has a tattoo of her name on her, on her arm. She talks about Tammy Faye quite a lot, so that's how I became aware of her. Um, so Tammy Faye was, if you don't know who Tammy Faye was, she was a um, TV personality in America. Her, probably her most famous period was sort of mid-70s to early, early 80s. And she was a TV evangelist with her husband at the time, who was Jim Baker. Um, and it was quite a controversial life because um, her husband got into a bit of trouble with the law. So I think, so I think she's seen as quite controversial as well because she's seen through him because she married him so she's kind of seen in a negative light and I think her adult life has always been in the limelight in some way and her life was quite a colourful and controversial one and not just talking about the makeup. Now, Jesus was Tammy Faye's second love. The first was makeup. It's a lot of makeup. Um, it's not a makeup look for everyone, including myself. I'm kind of into the, I believe in sort of idea of less is more, which I know is a cliched term, but I do, um, I like less makeup, personally for me. But this look is basically your entire makeup cabinet onto your face. So before I start, if you don't know what Tammy Faye looked like, please Google image her just so you know the direction that I'm going in before you like, before you freak out. Okay, I'm going to use a, um, a compact foundation. Um, this is a sleek makeup oil free because from research of Tammy Faye I saw most of her products were sort of in little ladylike compact things like this and it's quite a good coverage this one I'm going to use a sponge put this to get that all on there this is slightly darker than my natural skin tone I think Tammy Faye was naturally she had naturally tanned anyway. I think she probably used a bit of makeup to help with that, but I think naturally underneath she wasn't too pale. I'm going to take it down the neck as well because I'm changing my. just altering my skin colour a little bit. So I think this would be a good costume look, and particularly for guys. It's a good. it's a good drag look. And I think if you go to a party, with this makeup on and a costume. People who know who Tammy Faye was will instantly, instantly recognise you. Gonna go on with bronzer, which I hardly, hardly ever use. I only really use it for my tutorials. And even then I try and avoid it. But if it's Tammy Faye, I've got to use every single product that I own. Um, I think she just liked to take it all around her face and onto her forehead. She didn't do, wasn't too over generous with the bronzer, to be honest with you, because she had a tanned complexion. So whack it on. Doesn't have to be too neat. And in fact, there's um speaking of Sharon Needles, um one of my favourite YouTube series is the W O W um James St. James Transformations where James St. James gets um drag queens and makeup artists to make them up. And it's absolutely brilliant so it's a brilliant series, I love it. And there's an episode where Sharon Needles transforms him into um, into Tammy Faye. So like a drag version of Tammy Faye. And he says it's great to do a Tammy Faye makeup because it's impossible to fuck it up. I mean, it's so, it's so slapdash. Okay, I'm gonna use a bit of blusher. Pink. Tammy Faye loved her pink. And it was quite heavy. 
and I'm going to slap that on just here. Okay, like that, and then I'm going to powder over. Tammy Faye swore by powder because she used to cry a lot, and she would swear by it because it would take away the tears. Now, I always have an anything goes approach to makeup. I'm always like, wear your makeup how you want. The one thing I normally do say is no matter what, always make sure that your foundation is um, well blended. With Tammy Faye, it doesn't really, particularly if you're going for a costume look, um, if your foundation looks a bit slapdash and not blended in, um, it kind of adds to the effect a bit. Um, so yeah, you can probably get away with having, you know, having the foundation look a little bit uneven. Oh, sorry, I haven't talked to you through the products. I've been carried away. Um, bronze I use with the Bourgeois. Um, Delice de Pondre. Um, I hope I pronounced that right. Bronzing powder. In shade 51, I think. No, 52, sorry. The foundation was your sleep makeup. And I used a La Femme blusher in number one. And powder, I used my MAC NC20 Studio Fix Press Powder. Okay, I'm going to leave my brows for the time being. I'm going to skip onto the eyes. A um, lot of eyeshadow here. Um, one thing I'll say with Tammy Faye is don't use any matte colours. Or once you want all kind of shimmers and satins and all that. Now on the lid she either went purple or pink. I'm going to go purple today. And she, from, I've seen a couple of videos about her talking about her makeup and most of the products that she mentioned were drugstore. Um, it's not high-end products. So I'm going to use these products, these are Makeup Academy, and they're a quid each, these eyeshadows. And I don't know if you have them in America, but they're a UK, a UK brand. And they're really, really good, actually. So I'm going to kind of stick to drugstore products as a homage to her. But I am going to cheat a little bit. I have here an Acra Queen by Makeup Forever. And this is in shade 19, I think. It's a purple cream. And what this will do will help the eyeshadows to stick a bit more intense. Um, so I'm going to cheat a little bit because Makeup Forever is not a drugstore product, it's quite high-end. If you don't have um, Makeup Forever or an Acra Cream or Cream Eyeshadow, you can just use a purple brush, not brush, yeah, pencil. If you take the pencil over the lid and just blend it in and then as you dab the eyeshadow on there it'll have something to stick to and also have a background to to give it a bit more um, oomph. Okay, I'm going to use a MAC product now and I'm going to use um, satin top like that. I was going to use a drugstore product but I don't have a colour that's similar to satin taupe. So, and I think the colour that I can see on Tammy Faye is very, very similar to satin taupe. I'm going to take this and we're going to go into the outer corner here and we're going to bring this up very very high and then come across like so and then bring it into the into the lash just there I'm going to use a one of the MUA shadows this one here which is a gold and it's um, shade 30 and it's going to go in the middle here and it doesn't have to be neat then I'm going to use a little bit of highlight I'm going to use Topshop highlight oh, where are we? this looks like that it's going to go across here, that little gap there and also it's going to go here, where the gap we put here now over the top of the purple you want to go for a purple eyeshadow so um, got Elemental Chaos that would work from Sugar Pill but I'm going to use um, MUA which is, and this is shade 9 I'm going to apply this onto the lid, I'm going to dab it 
And then I'm actually going to take a matte shade. I said I wouldn't use one, but this is um, shade 18 from MAC MUA. And take a tiny bit and just at the centre here, I'm going to take that. Just to give a tiny bit of purple highlight there. I'm going to go in with the brown MAC Mystery. And I'm going to use that to, which is also a matte shade, but <laughs> um, but because I've added that real strong cream satiny shadow, hopefully it should, um, should be okay. I'm take the MAC Mystery, now we're going to take it down. She had it quite heavy under here, usually because she was crying a lot. Now, Tammy Faye's favourite bit of makeup wasn't actually her lashes, even though she loved her lashes. It was actually eyeliner. And I believe she liked to use a Maybelline one. So I'm going to use Bourjois. And this is a liquid liner. So it's a very, very black liner. So just line the eye like that. And then thicken it out a little bit. Now you need to make sure that the top line is neat and straight. Bottom line doesn't matter. It was always smudged and um, running. So take, particularly if you want to go for a costume look of Tammy Faye, um, a good effect is to make it look like your makeup has run. And you can always use a little bit of water to make it look like it's smudged. Or you can cry if you want to. Sharon Needles has this tip. It's an absolutely ridiculous tip. That she uses beer to create the illusion of tears, which I think is absolutely ridiculous because why would you want to waste beer? Black Eye Pencil by Barry M. It's going to go into the... into there, to make it more black. And what I'm going to do, sort of trick, tr trick here, is I'm gonna hold my eye down. I'm gonna open it as long as I can, as long as I can take it to make my eyes water, and so hopefully that will create the illusion of tears coming down. Okay, so I put some lashes on because you can't have Tammy Faye without false lashes, and she would wear permanent lashes, and she would use little separate ones. They stick on individually. I'm not gonna do that because I can't be bothered. So I've just stuck on some um, Ailea 110. They're not very long lashes because from what I could see of Tammy Faye, they were certain, her lashes were certainly prominent but they weren't that long and they only came up to her, to her lids because you could see the eyeshadow and all that behind it so that's why I've used, some, I've used short lashes. And she'd always blend in her natural lashes with her false lashes. I've got Rimmel Scandal Eyes Mascara and I believe that she was a fan of L'Oreal waterproof mascara. I'm also going to come down below as well. Don't be afraid to make the lashes all spidery. Just adds to it. Okay, I'm going to skip onto the lips now and I'm going to add more to the eyes later. Um, now for the lips. She liked red and pink lipstick. I'm going to use red. Um, but a common thing she liked to do is line her lips with a completely different colour to what her lipstick was. So I've got a sort of maroony purple here, and this is from Barry M, and it's uh, shade 7. It's going to go around the lips. I'm not going to fill them in. Okay, now for the lips, I'm going to use this uh, Cool Stay Ultimate Lip Colour by Revlon. And it's called Top Tomato. Well, Revlon's an American company, so I'm guessing it's Top, top Tomato. So, I'm going to fill in the lip, and I'm not going to go over the lip liner, I want the lip liner and the lip colour to be very, to be separate. Okay, I'm going to move on to some Barry M products. This is just going to give my eye colour a little bit of a oomph. This is a powder, and I'm going to use a purple powder, and literally... Take that over where the purple is. And we're going to take another Barry M product. This is a goldy shimmery thingy. 
and going to take that along there. Now I did say at the start of my video that I would be coming back to my brows, but to be honest, I think I might leave them. Her brows weren't really that, um, they were quite fine, and I think she had them permanently tattooed on. Now I think in terms of a standard Tammy Faye look, you get away with this. Um, but I'm actually going to do sort of a costume take on it, and I am, I said I wouldn't, but I'm going to use Sharon Needle's tips, I'm going to use beer. Carlsberg don't do makeup tutorials! But if they did, they probably wouldn't be that great because doing a makeup while drunk isn't really advised. So I'm going to use Sugar Pill Bulletproof. I'm going to take this and create the illusion of tears. Now I understand that you're probably not going to copy this look. Is quite extreme. Um, I think it's more kind of like a costume look, and also I want to just wanted to have a bit of bit of fun um, because Tammy always had fun with her makeup. So I think this is more of a costume look. If you want to go, basically, if you wore this makeup with the tears and have the sort of Tammy Faye get up, people who know who Tammy Faye is will instantly recognise that you're who you're meant to be. Hopefully. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this has been not useful. I hope this has been entertaining. So I hope you're all well and I will see you all very soon. Bye!